Hey everybody. Okay. Uh, took a little break and now I'm back. Um, so this is the next page. We just finished doing this part and I just closed everything up to kind of make it, you know, not quite as taken up all of my space. So I have this one now and, and I've chosen this very simple paper and this envelope. Okay, so this is the envelope. I just took my little uh, spatula and opened it up. Um, anything with a pocket, with you know, even if it doesn't have the plastic to it, as long as you have a little hole, you can even take a die cut and make yourself a pretty hole into you know once you open up a, an envelope. Um, so. But you will need an envelope with an opening somewhere on it. And um, then gather up some of your ephemera. Now, I have this little fairy. This one right here. And I have cut it up into the three pieces. And then I also had the leftover from our pocket that we did the other day. So... Um, the, the front of the pocket and the back, I am actually using the back as the actual pocket. I am not putting any paper on this. Um, I'm, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut, uh, I think I'm going to cut straight across right at where the design ends. So let me go ahead and do that. Try and get it somewhat straight here. All right. There we go. Okay. Um, so I think I'm probably going to leave it like that. I will probably put a little decoration, you know, on the, on the ends, maybe a little bit of my, uh, fabric, um, ribbon that I have. Okay. But before we get started, I'm going to actually close all this up. I love this lap book because you can close it any kind of way you want. That's why we're going from the back to the front so we don't make it too fat uh, so that it's not going to really work well. Okay, so we have this piece. I, I am going to cut a little bit of, of it off because we don't need all of it. You do need a glue that's going to dry clear for this um, process. And since I'm not working on anything with paint on it, I'm going back to my glue glue. And we are going to glue this and you want all of it to glue down very well okay I'm actually going to take my finger and kind of spread that out just a little bit and then I am going to lay it down and I'm going to find where I want this in my pocket picture. I think right about there. And then I'm going to have the little sweet baby. Isn't that adorable? Okay. So there's that. Just peeking out the back. And you want to, you do want to make sure that it really gets down because this is going to be a pocket. And so you don't want to, you know, be hooking and things on this um, really bad. So now we're going to do the little babe. See how sweet that is? I love it. Okay, I do want to have it all covered though. So I'm going to just maneuver it around so I have all the little holes covered up. Okay, that's where I want it. Let me bring it in so you can see a little bit better. That's where I want it. So I'm going to grab it, flip it, 
and just fiddle it around just a little bit because I do want all of the parts. Let me double check that I didn't move it too much. No, that looks okay. That looks okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue... All these edges kind of run my fingers around there and lay it down. Okay, and now just pick this part up and do exactly the same thing. It's so much fun to play with these pockets. Now you can leave the pocket, uh, the, 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 you know, the window pockets. You can leave the window clear and actually put a design on your, uh, on your tag or whatever that you put in there. But this way, you're always going to have that really adorable picture in there. And it doesn't matter how your pot, your tag gets put in there. Okay. So there. Isn't that adorable? Okay. And then. I'm going to place the wings here. And do I want to put the legs there. I don't think I want to look put the legs there, but I am going to put the wings like she's get sticking her wings out through. Isn't that cute? I love that. I love that. Okay. Um, however, I'm thinking these wings need a little bit of, of oomph. A little bit of oomph. So how about some Wink of Stella? Wink a Stella. This is from Zig Memory Systems. And it's called Wink a Stella. They were huge a while back. Now this is called Gold Clear, I think. And I'm just going to rub this on my wings. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Probably need to cut out the wings a little bit better. And let me see if you can pick that up. Oh, too close. Oh, I think you got it. I think, I think I got it. Too close. I don't know. I think you can see it. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this down. Well, wait, now do I want to put a little something around here? Huh, because that is plastic right there all the way around. And um, the glue is not quite dry yet. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't want to take away. I think I'll leave it. I think I'll leave it. You can decorate around that if you'd like, and I might come back a little later and do something. But I think for now, I'm just going to stick these wings on here. Just like that. So it's either a butterfly landing on the little babe or it's the wings from the little babe. So you can let your imagination run wild with that one. Okay. So 
Now I'm going to get everything back over now that we've gotten that part done and we'll see what else we're going to do. So hold on a second. Hey guys, oh, moved my camera. Sorry. Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So <clears throat> now we need to uh, find a way to make this close because this is going to be a pocket and the flap is going to be behind the paper. So I pulled out and I did forget to show you that I have um, uh, seam binding lace, seam hem, hem lace, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, I pulled out this color. I've got more. I just grabbed that one to, to uh, utilize that blue. For, um, yeah, anyway. Blah. Okay, so um, again, I had said I was going to cover this because you have a little bit of, of uh, torn paper there and a little bit of the white, so we don't really want to see that. And um, in order to close this, I'm going to use a swing tab. And the only blue or blue or green or anything that looked halfway decent was this one. And then I've got a little uh, rhinestone headed, and it's a light blue rhinestone. I couldn't, I didn't have any uh, brads that was this color. So that's what we're doing. Um, in order to reinforce across here, I decided that I would use some of this tape. Now, I still want the white border around. And by the way, once that glue dried, when I rubbed my finger on it, because it wasn't like smooth, all of the plastic came off of the paper. So now it's uh, loose on the page which is great. I, I don't dislike that at all. So, um, yeah. All right. Um, so, but before I do that, I want to put some lace across as well. And I don't know if I, I maybe didn't cut that one long enough. I can stretch it a little bit, but I don't really want to. Hmm. Oh, well, it's junk journal style, right? It's okay. And then that is going to go right like that, and then just like that. Okay, so I think, because this is sticky, I think I'm going to, and this is the correct side, yes. Um, I think I'm going to take the sticky off. Take the backing off the sticky. And I'm going to lay this down right on the edge of the seam binding. That's not seam binding, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, and then we're gonna pick it back up. And I think I am gonna put a bit of the glue. Cause like I said, I've owned this for a long time. I don't know, I mean, it sure seems like it's pretty good and sticky, but did forget to put my cap on my fabric tack. Oh, but it's going to work for me just fine. So I am going to put a little bit across the main flower area, just kind of to lightly tack that down so it's going to stay in place. And then just one or two little strips. And I'm kind of getting it just here and there. It's not solid. Now, I want to start this on my fold. So I'm going to fold back my flap. And I want this to go all the way to the end, but still... stay right on that white border. Okay, so it doesn't go all the way to the end. I did cut it a bit short, but that's okay. Junk journal style, anything goes. So there's that. Oh, gosh, that is so pretty. So pretty. And um, 
then I'm just going to pick a spot. I kind of wanted it to be in one of these. It's not really center center, but I think I'm just going to pick this center of this little scallopy looking thing. And I'm going to use one of my, let's see, is this going to be, I want one of the smaller ones. I think this is it. I think you'll be able to see. No. So I'm not going to use those this time. Let's put our... This is just a really thin piece of paper, so there's really not a whole lot of need for lifting it up. Okay. Lay it over. And bend your brad legs back and then that will just keep that closed we will put something on this side of the paper so I'm going to open this back up again and I am going to do the same thing with these two pieces that I cut for the outside edges top and bottom my dog is trying to get in here. Bless his little heart. Okay, so there is that one. I'm not pushing it too hard down because I don't want to have to really struggle to get it off the glass. But another reason I love glass to work on. Okay. So let's get these up and we're going to put some, just like the other ones. Oh, but this one, I also took, let me show you, this was the one of the doilies and I went around and took the outside edge all the way off, all the way around and I'm going to have this come up. Uh, inside the um, the lace so let's again put just a little bit on the thicker part of the flowers a few little swashes across and then I'm going to lay this in here. I don't really want you to be able to see too much from underneath the lace. Um, to, I want this to cover most of the lace and so it'll just be a little, it's a little upside down there but you can see what it is and then I will have to cut off excess. But now I'm going to put some more fabric tack on to my doily. So that that will also help stick everything down. All right. Let's bring this in. And I made sure that I wasn't going to get right on the fold line. I am going to have to cut the doily. Off. And then I'm going to cut the doily part that hangs off. I don't want to cut my lace that hangs off because I like that. But I do want to cut the doily that hangs off. There we go. All right, let's get the other one. You guys use what you got in your stash. Just 
just a little added little layer on there just for interest. And I think I'm going to cut all of this off. Okay. I think I'm going to let this one pop out just a little bit more. All right. Let's get some glue. doily on there and this time like I said I'm gonna let this one stick out just a little bit more and this is gonna go this way so let me go ahead and cut the doily off and put a little bit of glue on the doily Okay, cut this off. There. So there is that. Now we just need to decorate this part and then we're ready to install. Um, so I think I used the uh, snail paper so the yeah, hair this is the other side of the snail paper and I think I'm gonna like that although I think I'd really like the green so I think I have mowed lawn so I'm going to make a green edge where's my green here it is I'm gonna make a green edge here. And this mowed lawn is really a, a good um, color with the uh, paint that I use. So this'll, this'll do nicely. I just got this one. I've been slowly getting my colors and uh, this is the, the one that I, I just purchased. Um, Primarily because I thought it would go well with this with this paper line. I do want to make sure that I get the pretty part. So I'm going to cut a little bit off of this because I want to get both butterflies and the swirly thing. And so let's cut a little bit off that side. And then I can measure... And I think that way I'll get pretty much both butterflies. And I think I'll go right to the edge. Right to the edge, ladies. Right to the edge. Bring it down so I can see my paper. And I'm going to leave a little green edge on that side. And let's see... Get this straight. Got to have it straight. Okay. Now, I hope you guys like this. Okay. Little green edge down there. Little green edge up there, I mean. And little green edge down here. 
So this is kind of what you're going to be doing for decorating the different envelopes. It's just like it's a part of another page and we're going to make them all very pretty. I think I will take, where did I put my dauber? Right here. I think I just get that fold nicely on there. I am coming all the way up to the edge on the with the paper, but you'll still see the top. So let's just keep it nice and neat and tidy and clean and cool. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do anything more to this, but that doesn't mean that eventually I won't do something more to it. But if you guys, you know, I can't, I can't spend so long on one element because then you guys are going to get so bored watching me do each one just by itself right up to the edge. And that leaves me a nice green border. And I think that is a cool element. Very cool. I, I, I love the natural look from the inside of the, it's just different. And it's, it's almost gray. So I think it's kind of a brown gray. I don't know, but it, um, and that's just helped use up little bits of my scraps, which I'm sure we will use all of them since I don't have a lot of paper. Okay. Um, Bring the book back and let's see what it looks like on our page all the way let me move a few things so that i don't know how all that stuff got on here there we go well house cleaning there we go okay so this is our page right here and then you figure out, I don't want it to cover up too much. <clears throat> so, you know, you can, you can put it anywhere you want for what looks good on your paper. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I did put this through my flap and I don't need it on my flap. And also let's do something with this before we close it because if you're going to put things in the pocket especially the way i've got it let's turn it this way all right but then i want to have a piece let's see let's try just some of this tape Um, a lot of times I will use this wrapping tape or package tape, cellophane tape. I think that's the old, old people's, what we, what we called it back in, in, well, probably before my time, cellophane tape. Okay. And that will help guide your paper to go over it. Just make sure that's gotten, you know, nice and adhered down. Okay? All right. So now, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the back side or, or front side of the flap. Almost up to the score line. And I'm going to put it where I want it. I think I'm going to slide it down a little bit more. Make sure it's in the area that you want it. Flip it over. And let's make sure that's nice and down. Hey, okay, you're supposed to be closed. Okay, so let's get glue it down all the way around. 
This is one reason I didn't want you to go ahead and put your papers down, you know, glue them down, because we're going to hide most of the inner workings of our pockets and doodads and whatnots. Okay, right to the edge, up and down even. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the fabric tack works way better on the uh, paint. Way better. All right, guys. Now the only last thing we need to do is glue down our flaps. We have a pocket and a flap. And that pocket will just fit whatever you want in there. It's a nice size pocket. You can stretch this a little bit if you want to make it flatter, or you can pinch it in just a smidge, which is what I normally do, because I like for my pockets to be easy to get in and out of. All right, now if it's pocket that you're wanting, that you might have things that are gonna fall out, then you want to stretch um, when you put your pocket down, you wanna really stretch it out and, and uh, glue it down so it will be tighter. But I like them so that it's easy, especially with all of the gobbledygook we have underneath, all of this taped, you know, glued down and then this taped down. All right, there you guys go. We got it done. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so um, I don't know what we're going to work on next, but let me figure that out and I'll be right back.